Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 specifically. We're going to be looking at the Eververse store. I should have done this yesterday, but unfortunately, I live in Florida, which means that I lose uh, internet connection a lot when there's a thunderstorm, and uh, evidently that happened yesterday. So uh, I was knocked out for a few hours until like uh, late last night, so that's why I haven't posted anything, but let's get right into it. This is the usually the video I post uh, when the new season comes out, so... Let's look at the seasonal stuff first. So first and foremost, the starter pack for $15, essentially. <coughs> and in my opinion, it's not worth it. Uh, all you get is a ghost ship sparrow and three synth templates. Uh, really sucks. At least they should have given you five, but whatever. And then we get to the armor, which the Nemean Hunter armor. Uh, everyone gets the Nemean Hunter or the Nemean uh, armor set. So this is not just exclusive to Hunters, Titans, and Warlocks get the same one. I'll have the comparisons to the Titans and Warlocks right now. But I'm a big fan of this one. I'm also a big fan of the Titans and the Warlocks. I think they all look really cool. Um, once I get all the armor and then see like what the shader situation looks like and whatnot, then I'll actually uh, give my actual thoughts on it. But in the meantime, I think it looks fine for now. For now. But that... <laughs> That review will probably come out like almost at the end of the season because that's when usually I get the, all the armor because I don't buy the armor. And then we go to the cross cut, which looks really cool. Unfortunately, I'm never getting that. Uh Um, then you get Death Wish, which is an ornament for the Shards of Galanor. I think they look really cool. Hopefully they shade it really well because uh, Shards of Galanor doesn't really shade it really well. And the other one shaders well, but there's a lot of yellow in it. So unfortunately, if you don't like yellow, then that's a problem. Next one is the Mask of Bacchus. This looks fucking terrifying and I love it. Uh, I'll have all of the other ones the, for the Titans and Warlocks right here right now. Uh, I'm also a big fan of the Warlocks and Titans. I think I think everyone got really cool stuff this season. Not gonna lie. Aside from the Warlocks, I think they got like an arm, and I was just kind of like, eh, like arm arm exotics are not like the coolest unless like they actually have like a shoulder pad and all this other crazy shit. And then we get to the ornaments, which look really cool. I'm not gonna look at them because. Uh, most of the time they don't sell these, but they look really cool. I'm a big fan of most of these. They're pretty cool. And then I really, I never usually go through emotes because I think they're a waste of money. But if you like them, I mean, do you, you do you, bro. I'm not, I'm not hating. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying to me, emotes are not like the thing for me. And then we go to what what is actually being sold. You get the standoff, which is from Forsaken. You get Thalia's Reach, which is from Season of the Drifter. And then Lunatic's Legacy, uh, Proteus, Hip to Hip, or Hip to the Hip, uh, Summer Storm, and then Cover of the Exile. For the Titans and Warlock, it's also Arms. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll, I, I'll have them up right now, but these are the two that are for the Warlock. And overall, I I like what I'm seeing. A lot of the cool, like the Nemean Hunter bundle, plus all the other Nemean uh, bundles look really cool. I think Death Wish is really cool. I think Beastly Vis Visage is really cool. Um, I don't have the Titan and Warlocks off the top of my head, but I know they look dope. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm obviously I expected this. They usually always give us. Um, stuff from last season or from previous seasons and we don't usually see something new until like either next week or two or three weeks from now so or not th uh two weeks from now usually two weeks from now we will see something so if you're a little disappointed uh it is what it is bro that's usually how it is but let's get on to the seasonal stuff unfortunately i'm not that high up just because again i didn't play that much yesterday but uh, we get this new exotic, which I actually fucking love. I was using it in PvP yesterday, and I'm actually going to review this, surprisingly. Uh, and then from here, 
the usual stuff you get a new emblem which looks pretty cool you get a new shader which i'm not the biggest fan of just because you look like a fucking clown but it might be my armor situation and i'll see uh you get a new finisher which i think is fucking dope it's basically uh what's her face's trick i forget her name uh break this right there which is pretty cool and then uh some more stuff and a transmat effect which transmat effect should not be that high but okay and obviously there's a bunch of stuff you get the new shotguns right here which is weird because i already have the shotgun uh whatever then for obviously for free to play players uh the exotic is at level 35 which is unfortunate and then we get another shader right here which I think it looks really cool, but I also think it's my shade, my shader or my armor situation. Like I said, I'm going for a fallen themed, and the chess piece in particular is very hard to shader. So we'll see. Let me get the assault or auto rifle. I don't know why I say assault rifle. Auto rifle it looks really cool. Uh, I guess I was correct because I I had a feeling it was an assault rifle or auto rifle. I'm actually excited to get this. Uh. I actually don't know what our high impact frame. Ooh, all right, all right, let's go. Then you get a ghost shell, which looks pretty cool. Um, looks like a nipple, but yeah, looks really cool. <laughs> looks like a nipple. Uh, and nothing really interesting here, aside from the exotic cipher. Um, let's go. And then we start getting into the actual ornament stuff. I'm not gonna show everyone's just because, I'm not even gonna show the hunters just because I don't have it yet, because I'm gonna do a video obviously, so I might as well just wait until I get that video out. And usually for me, it usually takes me like two weeks to get all of this up to a hundred, uh, just because, because I run so many bounties. Uh, and then we get up to the last one, which you get an ascended, actually, hold on. You get an ascended shard uh, pretty early. Oh yeah, so you get one, you get two, and then you get three ascendant shards. Also, you get Petra's party trick. If you guys remember from Forsaken, uh, she actually showed the, showed us this, and I really like that. And or that I really like that emote, so I'm excited to get that one. Last but not least, you get the ornament, which looks really cool. A lot of gold, but it looks really cool. And then the emote where you sit like a queen. Oh, and you can actually, all right, that's pretty cool. So with that being done, let's go into the collections to see the ghosts, ships, and sparrows, which is what we usually do. <clears throat> oh shit, I just saw one that looks really fucking cool. The Nemean shell. Fuck, this looks really cool. So this is the one that goes with the Nemean armor set, which looks really cool. Uh, junkyard shell. Oh, I like this. This looks really cool. Oh, it shaders so well, too, bro. Oh, this looks cool. That looks really cool. A wanderer's shell. I hate this. I hate that for sure. Andromeda shell. Oh, it's a little ghost in a fucking. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, Archangel shell. Oh, oh, shit. It's a fucking um, Warmind thing. A Warmind inspired shell, I guess. Prag Pragmat shell. This looks pretty cool. Knock on front. I actually, I think, I, I fuck with this. This looks cool. Dreamer shell. <clears throat> this looks pretty cool. We're probably going to get this through something else. That can be. Well, it doesn't tell me. So this this one we already saw. It's the nipple. The nipple. Uh, let's go to the next season. Or fucking, let's go to the ships. Nimi and Galley. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this one. The lines look a little weird. I think it would have been better if like, this would have just been like line statues. I don't know. This one, I'm not feeling this one. This one, Mr. Krabs. At least <coughs> the lines glow. The line eyes glow. That's pretty cool. Junkyard Navigator. Ah, I want to say I'm a fan of this, but I'm not. It looks cool. I just, I don't know if I would want to wear it or use it. 
I don't know if I like this. Andromeda Court? Nope. No. It looks gross. Bro, that looks... Why does that look like a fucking tomahawk, bro? It looks weird. I don't know. I... I definitely think it looks cool. I just... I don't know, man. It looks fucking weird. It might just be me. Uh, prag Pragmat Harrier. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is cool. What the fuck? Oh, shit, bro. Oh, and I see why they called it a Harrier. It looks like a... It look, from the front, it looks like one. Everything else. This looks fucking massive, bro. I like this, actually. Not gonna lie. Reefborn Warbird. What the fuck, bro? This shit, shit is bulky as fuck, and I love it. Yeah, I, I fuck with this. This looks cool, bro. And last but not least, center fire. It's uh, this looks uh, this looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. All right, last. Oh no, last but not least, junkyard steed. <sighs> Maybe I fuck with this. Wander's Wagon. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Andromeda's Racer. Isn't this the one from the package? Looks like it. Archangel. I actually like this one. I've seen it before. It looks super fucking, like, it looks so clean and, like, agile looking. I love this one. Pragmat Powerhouse. I don't know why, but I like this. Like, it looks, it looks intimidating to me. And I guess this one would be maybe like part of the Wayfinder shell and Centerfire, maybe. Either way, it was pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> damn, it's a lot of fucking seasonal artifacts. But yeah, overall, uh, <coughs> Eververse is uh, pretty cool this season, I guess. Um, Usual spiel, I wish the armor wasn't $15. I wish uh, the ornaments weren't $7. Fucking $6 for the armor ornaments. Pretty pretty, pretty gross considering you can't buy $6 worth or $7 worth. Like, it's super gross. You have to actually just pay $10 for it. So essentially all of these are just $10. <coughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired of making negative videos about it because uh, nothing's gonna fucking change. It doesn't even really matter. At the end of the day, they're gonna do whatever the fuck they want. So uh, you might might as well just accept it. Doesn't matter. Uh, don't fight it. Just accept it. Uh, don't fight it. Just consume. That's it. So fuck it. I'm. I think this looks cool. I just wish you know. Whatever, I've had this conversation before, I'd, I'd rather not do it. Uh, next video I'm going to be making is how to level up fast because a lot of people are wondering. I've had people comment on my streams a few times, like how to, how to level up fast. And unfortunately, a lot of people are not going to like that video because it's basically this, all this, just all this, which is what I did for like the last two hours yet last night. And I got to finish the Gambit stuff here. And then after that, I got, oh my God, like, it's gonna it's gonna be a really good video for people. So, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think I reverse fine. Like I said, uh, other than that, I will see you guys later.